guys, welcome to the Vyas Diary. Thanks for watching my previous video, What is Coding? Now, in this video, I'm going to tell you about free top visual block based programming platforms Code.org versus Thunkable and Scratch. So let's get started. This is how Code.org looks like. Now, to uh, what we're going to do in Code.org is create a little sample project. But before that, I'm going to tell you some facts about Code.org. Code.org was established in 2013. It is a non-profitable organization. That means it's free. And an amazing fact about Code.org is that in 2019, 910 million hours of code have been done. That is super cool. Now, let's create the sample project. When we click on this create button, we'll see a drop down. Now, when, when, these are all IDEs. The four main IDEs are Sprite Lab, App, Blab, Game Mob, and Web Blab. Now, before I tell you about those, I think you're wondering, what are IDEs? IDEs are Integrated Development Environments. Now, now I'm going to explain about um, these four main IDEs. Sprite Lab. Sprite Lab is a blockly environment where you can create interactive uh, projects. App Lab. App Lab is a environment where you can create simple apps using Java or blocks and share them in seconds. Game Lab is a environment where you can create games using JavaScript or blocks and share them in seconds. And last but not least, Web Lab. Web Lab is a CSS or HTML editor. Now we are going to click on artist. Okay. Before we get started, I'm going to show, tell you about these categories over here and how we're going to code. So this is the workspace blocks and where you can see your code. Now in blocks, you can find blocks like actions, brushes, loops, math, logic, functions, variables, and comments. Now, we are going to create a circle. How are we going to create a circle is that we're going to go to functions and we're, and we're going to take this draw circle function. It, we, when we run it, nothing's happening because we don't know how big the circle is. So we're going to go to math and just grab this little block and we're going to put a number in it. How about, I know, 50 or 30 or 80. Now, depending on the number, the circle size will change. If you run it, you can see the circle. The, the artist is drawing it. Now, I think you're wondering, what is this project called? Well, we haven't really named it anything. It says Untitled Project. I know, let's rename it Sample Project. And click Save. Hmm, now I'm wondering. I want to share this with my dad. How are we going to share it? Well, we can click on this share button. You can copy this link and send it. You can send a phone. 
Well, I want to send it to my dad, so let me enter my dad's phone number. This is my dad's phone number. This is, now you can also use a QR code. You can um, send it using Facebook or Twitter. And you can even print it. Mm. Now, what does this remix button do? Well, remix is used for, for um, editing. For example, if your friend sends you a project and you want to edit it, you can click on this remix button. Next, some uh, advantage in code.org is that you can see your code in JavaScript. That is a text-based programming language. Now, let's click on the show code button. When you click on the show code button, at the bottom you can see jaw is circle, radius 80. Let's click OK. Another, there's only one disadvantage in code.org. You can't publish your app to Play Store, App Store, or any other um, store. Now, I think you're um, wondering, how can we challenge ourselves in code.org? Well, there are lots of courses in code.org. Let's click on this icon and scroll down. Now, Minecraft is one of the courses. If you log into code.org, you can see more courses. This is code.org. Next, let's get to Scratch. This is Scratch. And, in Scr and some facts about Scratch are that Scratch is a, was created by MIT students. And MIT is, stands for Massachusetts uh, Institute of Technology. It is one of the top you know, institutes in the world. Now we're going to create a little project in Scratch. This is how it looks like. Now I'm going to explain some features and, and the main purpose of Scratch. First of all, um, Scr Scratch is designed to create games and things like video sensing and lots more like creating sprites, costumes, video sensing, audio sensing, a lot of things like that. And you can only create games. You cannot create apps in um, Scratch. And, if, and, an, and there's an advantage in Scratch, though. There are tutorials. You can watch this Get Started tutorial to see how Scratch works. Now, I think you're wondering, how, like, how do we use Scratch? Well, it's just like code.org. You take the blocks, snap them into the workspace. But there's a little difference. You're coding for the sprites a little separately. So for example, let me show you. Um, I added a sprite. I clicked on this button and added a sprite. I'm not going, if I wanna move this sprite 10 steps, I and I wanna, move this sprite 10 steps, I'm doing it separately. It's happening when I'm clicking this block, but I want it to happen when I click the green flag. So I'm going to go to events and take one green flag click. Now you can, both of these sprites will move forward when I click the uh, green flag. Now, it, you can also delete them by just um, dragging and dropping them into the blocks, just like in code.org. 
So this is all like code.org, except that you can only create games. And another advantage in Scratch is that you can publish your app in Play Store or App Store, and it's you can also share your app easily. You can just um. Copy this link and share. You and you can even design your own blocks. You can go to my blocks and design your own block. You can click on make block and design however you want it to. So that's it for um. That's now I'm going to go to Thunkable. Hey guys, now that we finished Scratch, we're going to Thunkable. Now, I'm going to tell you some facts about Thunkable. Um, one, Thunkable is is free, but um, you can only create ten free projects. After ten, you create ten, you have to upgrade to Pro, and you have to pay. So that and in Thunkable, you can publish your app. To Play Store, Google Play, and as a web app, you just have to download it and publish. It's a little harder than Scratch and Code.org, so it's best to try Code.org first. Hmm. So let's get started. So this is the design area of、um, Thunkable. So basically, if you want to take a button, you can. Drag it and drop it, and these are the button settings. Next, we can go to blocks, and you can code for the、um, app. So you can see over here; these are the default ones, these colored ones, and down here are the ones we are the button is the button one and screen one. So, um, but. From design button one and screen one, and we got the blocks for button one and screen one.、Eh, you can easily drag blocks. You can delete them by taking them to the bin. And there are lots more things you can do in Thunkable. You can create lots of apps and games. In my future videos, I will tell you about creating an app and putting it in Play Store. These are the main differences between Code.org, Scratch, and Thunkable. Now that's it for today. Thank you for watching my video, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Click the notification bell below, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.